I'm here with Steve Nicholson, Chief Football Writer, Derby Telegraph, after the Rams 3-0 home defeat to Birmingham City. Steve, give us your thoughts on that. It's not been a great few days actually for Derby County, there's no hiding from that. Uh, awful performance against Reading on Tuesday. Uh, I must say, uh, look, looking back, you know, an overreaction after that performance as well, because the second half here today against Birmingham was worse. First half, Derby were okay, but no better than okay. Uh, Birmingham rarely stretched, good discipline, well drilled shape. They looked relatively comfortable, nil nil at half time. You then thought, well, go on then, you know, you've got that nervous, edgy 45 minutes out of your system now, go on, what, what can you do? And uh, Birmingham were a better side, second half. Deserved to win the game, uh, scored three goals, first one from a set, a set play, which they're very strong on. Uh, Robinson headed in the back post. Second one, Gleeson whipped in a cross, and I'm sure it was a cross, uh, from the right, and it caught out Lee Grant. Not, you know, it's never a great moment for the keeper when that happens. And uh, final one, Kifton Beld, I think is the way you pronounce his name, uh, thumped in a, a wonderful volley. 3 0, deserved the points. Derby licking their wounds again. As I say, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not been a great few days. That's four uh, league w uh, games without a win now for Derby. Um, should we be getting concerned at this point? I think it's always concern. Uh, I think we have to go back a bit further. I think the last time I feel that, that they produced what you call uh, a very, very good performance was away at Hull at the end of November. You know, they've been stumbling in games since then. They've been patchy in other games. As you say, two points from the last 12, and there's no argument with that. You know, they can't turn around and say, well, I think we deserve more, because they, don't, they haven't. Uh, the rhythm's gone from the team the confidence has gone from the team uh, the, the shape has, seems to have disappeared as well uh, I wrote a piece this week saying it's all very well having a big squad it's all very nice but sometimes there can be too many options and at the moment I'll be honest I'm not sure what the next team will be that's put out there you know, will Paul Clement make changes again in the next game I don't know, and uh, there's a lot of parts to the team now that aren't working. Too many players are not really on it, uh, and, and it really is a test of character. These are the moments now, you know, it's all very nice when results are going well and it's lovely, but these are the moments when you've got to stand up and, and deliver, you know, and it's going to be tough. Uh, so, yes, there has to be some concern. Uh, one of the biggest concerns for me is, is, is the way the, the confidence drained away here in the second half. This is a team that had lost only three games out of 26 before today. So some confidence must have been built from that. But once the first goal went in, and certainly once the second went in, it drained away, it just disappeared. And I think, you know, you've got to look at that and say, come on, we've got to be a bit more, have a bit more about us than that. So yes, I, I think there is concern. There's an awful long way to go. They've proved they can win games at this level. Now they've got to go out and do that again. So today's result has left Derby four points off an automatic promotion spot in third. And next up, a uh, week on Monday, they, they go to Burnley, who are just behind them. Yes, I said, uh, I tweeted out before last night's game, Burnley at Brentford. I said, you know, this is a big game for Burnley, and if they were to win, it would make it really interesting. They did win, and they won very well, 3-1. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Derby now, as you say, four points behind Hull. who had a super win today, 6-0, I think, against Charlton. Middlesbrough got beat with a very late goal at Bristol City, so in many ways that was fortunate. But Burnley now are one point behind Derby. Turf Moor is never an easy place. For all those who've watched Derby there over the many years now, and one of them obviously, it's never easy. And Sean Dyche will see that game as a real big chance to kind of push above Derby and go for that second spot. So, as I said earlier, test of character. You know, it's not going to be easy, Turf Moor, on a Monday night. TV are there. So, you know, Derby really now have to kind of sort themselves out in this coming week. There'll be no warm weather training, as we know. You know, that trip's off, maybe it should be back on, really. Maybe that's what they need now. Uh, but no, they've got to kind of dust themselves down and dust themselves down quickly because this was a wake-up call second half.